Hello dear viewer. Today I'm making a video response to a YouTuber I used to respect a lot. Sadly, he decided to go full CNN. Oh no, that sucks. I'm talking about Spinal Soroskin. Recently he made a video response to Paul Joseph Watson. As we shall see, this video response is not exactly honest. You can see from the screenshot that something is missing. The something is linked to the original. That should raise a red flag immediately. Also notice that the video is called The Truth About Right-Wing Propagandists. Ironic. That's right, some members of the media were more upset that Tommy Robinson had showed up to the scene of the attack than the attack itself. You're wondering why people are so angry? Oh, I mean, you're only using the deaths of people whose bodies aren't even cold yet as an excuse to regurgitate the same fucking talking points. And to do what? Get more subscribers and views? Click the link below to subscribe to the channel. Going on your little crusade against the leftists. So, Watson made a point that people are more outraged at Tommy Robinson than at terrorist act itself. And you respond by being more outraged at Paul Joseph Watson than the terrorist act itself. Fucking A, man. And how did the left respond? Shit on the concept of moderate Muslims by using one tweet from a random crazy person who isn't a Muslim to push the idea that most moderate Muslims support terrorism. Oh, really? Just one tweet? And nothing more? Here's a screenshot from France 24 Arabic's live video feed. Note the smiley faces and the thumbs up. They're saying, quote, God curse the infidels, and quote, that's how the lone wolves of Allah operate. Here's a screenshot from Al Jazeera Live. I'm watching Al Jazeera Live, you wouldn't believe the number of likes. Well done, an Allah Akbar. You so conveniently forgot to include this clip, huh? Red pill them on the Illuminati. He's pronounced Illuminati. I mean, cultural Marxist leftists and how they control the entertainment industry. Yeah, it's not like Hollywood is a giant leftist circle joke or anything, right? Seriously. And that's why TV shows are shit nowadays or something. Why are you bringing this up? What relevance does it have? Now I don't know if it's genetic fallacy, or ad hominem, or just a red herring, and Frank I don't care. It has no bearing on the arguments presented in the original video, so it's just pointless. Or maybe this entire video was just an excuse to shill some shit. Irrelevant. Well imagine my shock. I'd really like to say I'm shocked by your dishonesty, but no. I'm not. Saw it coming a mile away. Ah. Sometimes I hate being correct.